We are honored to be here today in this work with our comrades across the world working for liberation for all our people. Today I stand here with you at the intersections of ethnicity. I am Chicana, Black and Indigenous, with deep roots here in the Southwest. Statistically, I should not be standing here. I'm an eighth grade pushout. I'm a teen mom. I'm a street kid. I've hustled dope and I've been homeless. I have been a witness to horrible violence and the target of violence. I have been harmed, but I'm not sure I've ever been a victim. I have done many things that I'm not proud of, and I was never very certain why I was spared when so many others were not. Despite all those facts, I stand here today, not for myself, but for my people. I thought long and hard about what I wanted to say here today. More than anything, I wanted to talk about how unfortunate it is that my story is not unique. How when I was 15 years old, the Rape Crisis Center came to present to us a group of pregnant teens and they discussed five ways that you could be sexually assaulted or abused and four of the five had already happened to me at just 15 years old. My story is not unique. Women across the world are targeted and harmed so often Stark reminders of just how present and consistent the dangers of patriarchy thrive among us. Despite all of the harm, violence, and abuse we endure, we stand here today, united today, because we persevere. This intentional call, this international call for unity is an important one. And today I want to lift all of our women and femmies, our beautiful trans sisters, our women of color. I want us especially to hold sacred the missing, murdered, and indigenous women, our API and Latina women who suffer alarming rates of domestic abuse, our Chicana and Black women who continue to have their children stolen from them by the U.S. government, for all our women denied equal pay for their work, for all women who are over-sexualized and devalued. Still, many in our society see us as property and practice ceremony that upholds this concept for the patriarchy. Our own colonized men and boys who exert misogyny on their own sisters and mothers and our collective society that practices this, practices this oppression through toxic masculinity. Most important are incarcerated women. Female incarceration in the United States has increased 640% over the last 20 years. Incarcerated women suffer some of the worst conditions of confinement because they are a minority class. They often receive the least resources and funding on top of forced sterilization, sexual abuse, and often permanently lose their children. Ironically, most women, in the, most women are in prison because of crimes related to being victimized by a man. It is amazing how regardless of the fact, of that fact, visiting rooms in prisons and jails across the world are filled with women. Every ju juvenile, adult, and immigration prison and jail visiting room is filled with women who carry the full financial and emotional burden of the prison industrial complex. And we persevere. Women suffer a huge double standard in this world as we face patriar patriarchal oppression in employment, social settings, and even in our own families. We are ashamed because of our trauma, because of imagined ideals, uh, idealization and expectations. Today we must stand strong and know that the time for shame is long gone. We shall no longer be ashamed of imposed trauma. We must stand strong and we must protect each other. I know we are all too familiar with the trauma and the struggle. I don't only wanna focus on that. I want us to focus on our power because we are powerful. Women carry the scars and women do the work. Women are sacred and we must be cared for, not just by each other. But today I call on all who identify as men to step it up. We need you. It is time for you to do the work. It is time for you today to do no more harm. It is time for you to advocate and uplift all women and girls. 
this historic moment where our women are rising, it is not by mistake. It is because of the hard work of women across the world who have had enough. The rise of women is not accidental. It stems from women everywhere stepping into their power. I am proud to stand here with all of you incredible women today, all of our men who stand in solidarity with us, who are here to uplift us as we continue to realize our power and apply it and work to uplift each other. I am calling on all who identify as women, our beautiful trans sisters, our women of color, young, old, from all economic classes, from war zones, from Palestine to Nicaragua, asylum seekers, let us all, all of us women and girls stand up together. Put your fist in the air, proud and strong and call out with me. I am brave. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am sacred. Because of our sisterhood, because of our unity. Viva la causa. I have so much gratitude to our sisters in the struggle across Latin America and the radical feminist collectives associated with Ni Una Menos, not one, not one less movement. So grateful to be here in solidarity today. Thank you all.